Welcome back to DXB Today, where we're continuing our look at uh, all things networking and how it's changed in 2023. Uh, well, one man who can give us uh, a great perspective is the co-founder and the CEO of Belong. It's the uh, belong.app uh, is the handle as well, if you want to check it out whilst we're having this chat with Michael Askew. Mike, thanks much indeed for being with us. Thank you for having me, Sam. So, th th talk to me about the birth of Belong, if you can, because... I'm assuming it's, it, it's, it's something that has been very, very personal to yes. you. What were you doing before Belong? Uh, I used to work in project management and construction uh, many years ago now. And uh, I, I moved to Saudi Arabia when I was 22. I was really lonely. I lasted four years there. Moved over to Dubai to find a community and make friends. And I found that I was in the exact same position mm. that I was when I was in Saudi. And I really struggled to make, meet new people. So. I understood that there was sort of 90% of the population of expats here in the UAE who were also having the same troubles. Mm. I kept meeting people and people were saying it's hard to connect, it's hard to find true friends. So I thought, right, I think there's a big enough problem to solve here from my experience in Saudi Arabia and Dubai and from coming from London knowing it's also hard there to build a solution to the problem. Mm. And that's where Belong comes in. Wow. It's just bonkers though, isn't it? Because a lot of people will look at Dubai and go, what do you mean? You know, yeah. Yeah. It's full of, of, of young entrepreneurs and a lot of people coming, uh, expressing their dreams. But it can be a very, very lonely city. Yeah, I mean, I think the fundamental reasons that a lot of young people in today's society are lonely, Tom, is due to like Instagram and TikTok. Right. Because these products connect people globally to family and friends. But it's called social media. So when you take a step back, the fundamentals of being social always starts with location, to meet people in real life. And that's the value that we drive at Belong, not to connect you globally to influencers and people showing off unrealistic stories of themselves. We connect you to real people in your city to have a good time. Mm, I love that. Okay, so how does it work? If I join the Belong app, what is the process of me making friends? Okay, so install the app, super simple, whether you're an iOS user or an Android, it's free to use. Mm -hmm. When you sign up, you tell us what you like, and we drop you into communities with people that we believe that you'll get on with. When you say what we like, you mean just hobbies and... Hobbies, from lifestyle okay. to foodies to fitness to fashion, you name it, it's all under one roof. Mm -hmm. You can come into the product and then you can also see hundreds of events happening every day. So you can join events and go out of people in real life, in your city. Wow. And Michael, if you don't mind sharing, you've got a great personal success story through the app as well. Yes, <laughs> I have. Uh, recently married uh, two weeks ago and to lovely Sylvana. <laughs> and we met in Belong. Wow. Yeah, we met in Belong. And there's been many marriages now through Belong. Yeah. Um, and a lot of other things through Belong. So it's, uh, it's brought a lot of happiness to the UAE. Uh, over 50,000 sort of monthly active users here in Dubai alone using the product. Um, and it's brought a lot of joy and community to people. Oh, man. There's results and then there's results in yeah. the marriage as well. Yeah, I mean, you want a yeah. wife. <laughs> you want a wife, just make it up. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, can you tell us about um, the app being in America? Yeah, sure. So we launched in um, uh, San Francisco in January this year. I was there for six months from January till June. Went really, really well. Raised some new capital that enabled us to then go into New York, where I've just come back from and gone back to in two weeks' time. And New York's class is one of the loneliest cities in the world. We launched there with like some key KPIs. We've smashed all of our targets. Investors are delighted. And we're going to keep scaling city by city. Mm. That's great. Honestly. You're addressing an issue, uh, but you're also a business owner. You've set up a business here. You're a CEO and a founder as well. We know that the startup ecosystem here is very vibrant. But you've also just mentioned you're from the UK, from London originally. Yep. So. Do you reckon you would have been able to do this back in London or is this sort of unique to getting this off the ground here? I mean, I think my experiences started with Saudi Arabia and having that extreme loneliness of living on a compound and like being the youngest man on the compound as well didn't help. Mm. People would look at me and they'd say like, where's your mum and dad? <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'm here to work. Yeah. <laughs> so I think if I'd have stayed in London, the idea would never have been born. Right. Then when I moved to Dubai, then I saw this huge surge in Instagram because it's only sort of really picked up over the last sort of 10 years. I've been here for eight. So I saw the acceleration and I saw like now I go for dinner and everyone sat on their phones playing on Instagram, watching people's lives. Like, it's highly irrelevant, isn't it? Mm. So like, I thought, well, how can we get people to put these down and have a good time like this? Yeah. 
And that, that's where Belong comes in. Right. That is very true. Thank you so much for joining us Thank on the show, so everyone. Much. Belong Thank is the so application much. that we all need. <laughs> now, anyone who is serious about networking knows the power of golf in business circles. To learn more, Khaled went down to the Club Lab Golf to take a look at their studio and even got a golf crash course. Take a look. I'm here today at Club Lab Golf with founder and master fitter Reg, where he's going to teach me a lot about golf. But first, I want to find out a little bit about your background. Well, sports lover, uh, golf was the one that we wanted to pursue at the end of the day. Studied everything there was in golf and realized the fitting side of it and the technical side and coaching combined was the way to go. Uh, we saw there's a bit of a gap in the market in the UAE where people will do coaching only or fittings only. We wanted to combine that with some custom building. Well, I'm very excited because I've never played golf, so I can't wait to get a crash lesson. Well, we're going to show you some elite coaching and some custom uh, fitting today. Great. Perfect. And one thing we were having a little bit of a chat earlier on, yeah. you were telling me how advanced your system is. Can you just give a little bit more details about that? Yes, yes. We are, we are having the state of the art technology when it comes to coaching. Um, everything from the ball data to how high the ball is going, um, the curvature of it, and then we also have high-speed cameras to capture your swing. What are we going to see now? We're going to do, seeing that you just started playing golf, uh, we're going to do the basic fittings, we're going to check your length, we're going to check your grip size and the possible lie angle. Great. All right, let's do that. Thanks, everyone. Perfect. Go, Khaled, your first custom golf clubs at Great. your specs. There we Thank go. You. Can't wait to use it. Perfect, let's go and try it out. Yes. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good because now you've got a nice straight back. Mm. Bum is out, knees are softened, mm. and your arms can just relax me. Mm. All right, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the owl shaped position. Oh, that was not easy. <laughs> I had a fabulous time at Club Lab Golf where I got the lessons and custom golf clubs. So come on down and have a great time in GLT Cluster A. Practice makes perfect for Khaled. At least he looked the part with that uh, jacket on at the beginning of that piece. Uh, big thanks to Khaled for joining us. Right, time now for DXB in 60. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, Katie, absolutely no pressure here, but we're going to be putting 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to be asking you many questions, as many as I can, uh, for us to get to know you a bit more in this episode. Are you ready? Okay, I think so. Yeah, okay. In three, <laughs> two, one. If you weren't into entrepreneurship, what industry would you be in? Um, charity. Okay. One thing you cannot live without? My children. Your favourite networking group in the UAE? British Business Group, Dubai, Northern <laughs> That's an Emirates. Easy one. Your hidden gem in Dubai? Uh, the uh, tea house near the British Embassy. Okay. Mm. Your, motto, your motto in life and in business? Uh, be kind. Mm -hmm. uh, top series you've watched this summer? Um, oh gosh, I don't, I don't really watch TV that much anymore. Okay, I'll take that. I like a murder uh, mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the book you're reading at the moment? Um, I am reading something called The Power of Networking, and that's okay. honestly I am. Yeah. Quite fitting. <laughs> uh, top podcast recommendation? I love uh, My Therapist Ghosted Me. It's a bit out there, but she does come to Dubai quite a bit. It's very funny. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love that too. Uh, your inspiration? My inspiration uh, is my kids again, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, if you could hang out with anyone for 24 hours, who would it be? Uh, my parents, probably. Oh, yeah. lovely. <laughs> that is lovely. Katie, thank you so much for joining us on the thank show. You. And that's your DXP thank in 60. You. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank you very much, Katie, for joining us. And we've got murder mystery in common. After the break, we're going to be meeting the talented artist performing tonight on the show. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 